Kimberly, your beauty life expert. For today's video, we are going to be jumping into my purse. I thought it would be kind of interesting to pretty much show you guys what I have inside my purse, what I have inside my bag. I know I look a little white today. Um, so let me give you guys a warning. My bag is really dirty right now because I haven't cleaned it out in a while and I wanted to clean it out today and then while I'm taking the things out I'm like wait a minute let me film a what's in my bag video so that you guys can get to get to get to know me a little better and see the kind of slob that I really am so without further ado let me jump into what's in my bag now my bag is extremely heavy because on Friday when I went to work I um I had to take a lot of stuff with me because Fridays usually are a little slow at work and I was going to be by myself so I needed a lot of stuff to entertain myself so I bring like everything with me. Um, I also was going to plan to go out so I had to bring a lot of stuff to make sure I prep my skin. All of that stuff to get ready to go out. Yesterday I went to the Museum of Sex so you can tell that my voice is a little scratchy. I went into the bouncy house and if you guys have not went before it like they take that exhibit out go if you're in new york city go i will link it down below so you guys can go i know it's a little bit like 18 and over kind of thing but it's really fun and i really did enjoy it so anyways let's jump into the bag the first thing i already took out because it's sitting on the table um but i had my laptop in here and i carry my laptop with me because i like to edit my videos because i am trying to take this blog very seriously and that requires a lot of time so the first thing is here is my Marc Jacobs laptop case. This is where I put my laptop in. And I actually got this the same day that I got my purse. Um, and it's the only case that I found in Bloomingdale's that fits a 15 point whatever laptop. And yeah, so that's my case. Um, and now onto this glorious purse of mine. It's extremely heavy. But this is the York um, buckle bag. Oh, it's so heavy. You guys, like, I feel like... Ugh, it's time to clean it out because it cannot be this heavy. I cannot carry this much stuff all the time. So this is what it looks like inside my bag. And it is filled with stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out this. Because this is probably what's putting the most weight on my bag. And um, this is my Victoria's Secret makeup bag. And besides being a makeup bag, I also keep like other stuff in here. Um, so it's leopard interior. And this is packed. Holy crap. When was the last time I digged in here? I bet you there's stuff in here that I haven't been using because I can't find. So, starting off, that's what I said when I saw this. So, this is the Fit Me um, Set and Smooth Normal to Dry Setting Powder. This is supposed to be the new look. And this, I got mine's in 125, so you could probably tell how white I really am. I feel like this video is going to be so long. So, yeah, this is the powder. Keep that in my bag. And if I lean over, it's because that's where I have a table. Um, this is going to be the Saban Pink Cotton um hand sanitizer smells so good who doesn't like a hand sanitizer i have a hair clip i have my becca by jacqueline hill highlighter i have an elf blush brush this is what it looks like mine is like really white because i use it for my shade of light palette i have this concealer this is the sand beige sand whatever fit me um 20 that's the concealer i have i have some mouthwash this is from crest I have some dove uh, deodorant because i do um carry this pouch with me when i go to like yoga or when i go to the gym after work um so that's why you're gonna see a lot of that stuff in here i have cetaphil moisturizer that i've never used before which i should start using so i can let you guys know what it looks what it feels like I have the Cetaphil cleanser as well. I have used that one and it reminds me a lot of the Purity Wash because it feels like gentle. And then I have a lot of lip products. Um, I have the ColourPop Super Shock, Shadow, Super Shock Shadow in Amaze, which is my favorite. Actually, let me see if I can open it. Uh, it looks like this. Oh, you guys can't really tell how pretty this really is, but it's gorgeous. It's my favorite shadow from um, ColourPop. And then, oh, I just dropped my cell phone. Then these are all lip products. Okay, this is why I haven't found it. This is the Kathleen Light Miami Fever Ofra Liquid Lipstick. You guys will be seeing a review on that. Um, I did tell you guys that you were going to see it sooner, but, you know, it's taking a while to put it up. Anyways, this is a lipstick that I don't know what brand this is. Uh, Patina, probably. It's actually, like, really cheap. Um, but look at this lip color. Oh my god, you guys can't tell. It looks so, like, bright right now. But it's the darkest 
it looks like the same color I'm wearing right now. Um, I'm wearing Diva, by the way, by MAC, so this is probably a dupe. So if you guys see this lipstick, go get it. It's really good, and it's probably like $2. Um, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Brulee. Okay, I love it. It's my favorite one. And then I also have Tiramisu here. These two are my favorite NYX Butter Glosses. They probably look identical, but whatever. And then I have a NYX Soft Lip Cream. And this is in the color... I don't even know what color this is. It's gorgeous, though. I really love it. I, I like Tiramisu first, and then I put this lip cream over it. I mean... I put the lip cream first, then I put tiramisu, and it looks gorgeous. Thumbs up for my singing. Anyways, this is a Makeup Forever lipstick that I got on my birthday month, and I love it. Um, and this is from Makeup Forever, by the way. It's a little sample. It's so tiny. It's so cute. Um, I also got this Nivea A Kiss of Mint and Minerals. It's my favorite lip balm. If you, I got the jitters out of nowhere. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but don't you guys ever get just get excited because you're like looking through my bag and <laughs> life. It's so good. Then, I got a whole bunch of like little items in down below that I should take out. Um, ooh, I hope I didn't show that too much. My ID. I'm not going to show it. Um, I got this hand cream from Victoria's Secret. This is the coconut milk. And I'm almost running out of it. And I didn't even think I liked it that much. But the smell is so good. Um, it doesn't moisturize too much. But it smells delicious. So, I kind of do like it. Oh, this is my ID for work. Um, as well as my keys. I got another lip product, no surprise there. This is the YSL lipstick, and I can never freaking find out what color this is. Let me see if I could take, ugh, you can't even focus it in. Anyways, this is the lip color, it's gorgeous. If you guys have a chance to check it out at Sephora, well, if I have a chance to check it out at Sephora, I'll let you guys know what's the color. Um, these are my headphones from Apple's, the basic headphones. And I got a Stadler Plan, the black one. I got it outside of his case because on Friday it was my grandma's birthday celebration and we had a um, right in the birthday card for her. So I have that. And I also have some Aleve pills because I had crazy pains on Saturday, which was yesterday, and I couldn't take it. So I bought some Aleve. Thank God I'm like clearing out my bag because I don't want to be walking around with pills everywhere. Um, I have a regular pen. This is the Pentel Wow pen and it's just in black. Um, it's a retractable pen. Um, I have my mirror. Oh my God, I love, I'm obsessed with this mirror, you guys. You guys have no idea. This is the Dolce & Gabbana mirror and it's like the little safari. I think it looks so cute. Mm. And it just, huh, I love it yourself <laughs> um that was corny but i like that mirror it's so cute i have my wallet and i have this book so let me oh my bag is feeling lighter already okay this book you guys are probably gonna see a review about it depending on whether i do enjoy it reading it so far i'm liking what she's saying and it makes me feel all like angelic and so spiritual and so wonderful but this book is so cool it's called loving kindness i got it at the namaste bookstore if you guys live in new york city you guys should check it out if you're into that kind of stuff if you're like really like religious and stuff like that maybe you should stay away but if that is kind of your religion then maybe you should go in um anyways this book is written by sharon and i've been reading it and you know why i like that bookstore is because they like light up incense and my, my book smells like the essence and it smells so good. I really do enjoy it. Um, anyways, this is my wallet. I've been carrying this around the same wallet for about a year and a half. I have some stuff. Oh, so I actually went to a restaurant yesterday called... Uh, let me see if I can find it. It's called... Oh, I went to Fajita Sunrise. That's in Ridgewood. That's around where I live. And then I also went to Isa Wine and Chocolate Bar, and I will link you guys a thing down below of um, where you guys can find it, like what the locations are. Ooh, and I have some receipts. Receipts are always fun. Um, it proves to me how much I travel. And then and there's just a bunch of credit cards that I don't want to show you guys because that's probably <laughs> that's just putting me at risk of theft. <laughs> Anyways, um. I have a Dunkin' Donuts receipt. I have... Hey, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't know. I hadn't had my phone this whole time. 
So I have my phone in here and I actually have a Snapchat from one of my friends. Um, let me see what it says. I'm nosy. Oh, my case is from Urban Outfitters, of course. I love Urban Outfitters. Ugh, whatever. He's just being a douche. Um, I'll respond later, obviously. I'm not that mean. Um, yep, so that was the whole pouch from there. Oh, actually, ah, one of my rings flew off. Classy. I hope that doesn't happen to me if I'm in public. Um, I have a bobby pin. I have a lock. That lock is heavy as hell. Holy crap. Now on to the middle pocket because I don't keep my... Oh, no, wait. I have, I have my house keys and I have another quarter. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I feel like I'm sounding so boring right now, but it's because I'm, like, really monotone. I'm so tired. Um, I have a hair bend and I have some Altoids that I got from Dunkin' Donuts as well. And then on to the middle pocket where I keep all the fun stuff. Well, fun for me. I don't know how you guys feel about these things. Oh, they're so heavy. So I have my life planner from Erin Condren that I got um, when they came out. And these are this is the metallic one. I was going to do an unboxing video, but my camera, I still didn't have my camera, so I couldn't do it. Isn't this like the prettiest freaking planner ever? Look how pretty it is. I wasn't too happy when I first got it because I felt like it was thrown around a couple of times because the the plastic on it was like scratched up, but I was like, whatever. Um, this is how I plan my week. Um, if you guys can see, I have stickers of my make friends that I'm going to hang out with that day. Um, today is Sunday. It was supposed to be a me day, but I wanted to film for you guys anyways. So, yeah, now I have to switch it over to... This week, and if you guys can tell, I already marked vlog day on my planner for Saturday because I am going to be doing something very, let me see if I can focus, come on. And I'm going to be doing Manny Petty as well as <laughs> my hair appointment. Yay! Isn't that fun? Oh my god, look at, I look so white. <laughs> I'm actually not this white. I don't know why I look so white. Anyways, um, I mean like in skin tone, by the way. I don't mean, ooh, I hope you guys didn't see an address of where I'm going to be because I don't want no stalkers. I'm so full of myself. I'm totally joking. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be, that's my life planner. I plan my whole life here. Actually, after I finish video, after I'm finished filming this video, I have to hop back on there and plan next week. Um, and this other notebook is called, um, it's not called, yeah, this, well, yeah, it's the Erin Condren Deluxe Notebook with the calendar add-on, and I just used this, um, gold one because I ordered a silver one from Rainbows and Pixie, and I haven't got it yet, but once I get it, I will be showing you guys. So this is the beautyexpert.com notebook, that's what I'm going to call it, this is my beautyexpert.com notebook, and this is where I do all the planning for YouTube and my beauty blog and I don't want to zoom I don't want to zoom in for you guys but that's pretty much what it is. I the back I use well actually I'm gonna make a video just of this book. Like I'm gonna show you guys how I um plan for you guys. Um so I won't get into it now because if I do then there's no point of me filming the video later. Um and then I just have my Stadler pens and I'm done with the whole video. That this little thing. <laughs> so this is from the Museum of Sex where I went yesterday and it's like a little survey that they make you take and it has like numbers next to like the exhibits. So it'll be like number one, two, three, four, five, six and you have to plug them in and it gives you questions and then you find out about yourself and you find out a lot of crazy stuff about yourself because I just found out that I'm actually really clingy and I didn't think I was clingy but I guess I am so... Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, that was everything that was in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, my God. I left a huge mess next to me because I just cleaned out my bag. And then I'm going to put in what I do need and take out everything that I don't want in my bag anymore. And I'm going to put it in their place. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.